uh, in the second century, when we see that already four Gospels seem to be distinguished and seem to be associated together, in that period, we don't have any evidence of any church councils that deliberated on this kind of thing. We don't have any evidence of, uh, let's say, uh, a flurry of uh, ecclesiastical correspondence where bishops and uh, teachers were battling it out over which gospels. What we see is simply something emerging and something emerging in various parts of the empire. And that's what's uh, one, one thing that's so impressive to me is that at least by the second half of the century, second century, you have a confluence of testimony. You have Irenaeus, who is way out in Gaul, in the, sort of the frontiers of the empire at the time. You have, you have uh, Clement in Alexandria in Egypt. You have uh, uh, Theophilus and, and Serapion in, in Antioch in Syria. Uh, you have other writers in Asia Minor, and they're all using and talking about these same four Gospels. In various places, some of these authors are having to deal with claims of other Gospels. Uh, Irenaeus in Gaul has to deal with a claim of something called the Gospel of Truth. Uh, in, in Alexandria, Clement is dealing with a claim on the part of uh, something called the Gospel of the Egyptians, or the Gospel of uh, Hebrews or whatnot. In other words, in various parts of the empire, there may be other gospels on the, on the uh, fringes. But in all of these places, what they have in common, what these writers have in common, are the four gospels. And they even are, by that time, by the, towards the end of the second century, talk, talking about those gospels as the, one that have been, the ones that have been handed down to us from the apostles or from the time of the apostles.